Okay, hello. Just going to share with you my thoughts on legendaries, uh, luck, and how to get them. So I'll show you what I've got. Uh, first off, let's just talk about uh, where to find them. I believe uh, legendary missions. Oh, sorry. Uh, your your own legendary contracts, which you do, of course, when you go into your map and you pick them up. If you don't have them. Uh, just quick play, and if you're already uh, a legendary ranger, generally you go into legendary contracts in a way. Um, I think they're they're very very good for getting legendary crystals. A lot of people I know they say play free play. I I very rarely play free play due to the fact I don't have any friends that play this game. So by the time I enter the game and fly around trying to find some other people, I get frustrated. Um, occasionally I'll just fly in and I'll just um, do like a few world events just solo and you can pick them up. Uh, sometimes you can do those events quickly, sometimes you might struggle depending on, on what enemy you're fighting. Uh, for strongholds, I believe probably Heart of Rage, definitely, and um, Temple of the Scar. They, they seem to be the most consistent for dropping them. and. They, Again, ideally you'd want to be playing on uh, Grandmaster 3, but the trouble is Grandmaster 3, majority of people, they leave before the final boss because it takes uh, so long, usually unless you have a very, very good team. So the G2, the benefit is you can go through the, the map really, really fast and you can get to the end boss and you can eliminate the end boss very, very quickly as well, especially if you have all high... Um, Level javelins playing alongside you, uh, and there's probably not that much difference in in how they drop, really. Okay, so let's have a look. So I'm going to play that. We'll go to forge. So I'll just show you what I've accumulated, just so you know that I have a basic idea what I'm talking about. Assault launcher seems to be the very hardest to find. I'm not sure why. But again, the, ga the game is just really random how it works. Maybe some people get them all the time, and, and like people like me, you don't get them. So I only have a few of those. For weapons, I have a lot. So I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, about 25 legendaries. The trouble is you get a lot of duplicates as well, which is good if you have a gun you like, but um, I'd rather if you just got one of each, make it a bit easier. Grenades, a uh, reasonable collection, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16 or so. Of course support, you don't get them. And components. Again, what, 3, 6, 1, 12, 15, <coughs> about 17 or 18. And for me personally, I find um, to get the components, usually they seem to drop more consistently in legendary contracts or legendary uh, quick quick play. Uh, I'm not not sure why, but just for me personally, that's where I've seen to always get them. Strongholds are mainly just to get grenades. Um, sometimes I might get a gun and a grenade, so I'm not, I'm not sure if the game is actually designed like that or if it's just pure luck or not. And the other funny thing is, I'll show you these other javelins which I've never played. Okay, oh, honestly, I've never played them at all. I've I've Gone through and changed their appearance because they had a boredom. I just like to muck around with the, the javelins, but I've never actually played them. So if we look at the Colossus, I have three for him. Maybe we have more. Let's have a look. No components. Oh, so I have four. Four for him. Also, while well, I'm here, so that's pretty good. I've never played him, and I'm already at level uh, 640. If we look at the storm. 
again, I've never played this javelin ever. And look, components fully decked out. It's just like the uh, Colossus, it's just the gear I'm weak in because I never play them. I just don't have any leveled up gear. And the Interceptor, which I've never played as well. Okay, and this one I have five components. Again, gear zero because I've never played this javelin. So a lot of people now, we have that new update coming um, on Monday the 8th. And they said that they're going to try to stop players from getting legendaries for the ranger, any other ranger bar the one they are using. So if you play ranger, you won't get them for the interceptor or storm. Now, th I think that could be a good or bad thing. So you can see my ranger, it's it's powerful. You know, I can play G3, no problem. And... Um, and now I have the option, if I really wanted to, and I learned how to play those other javelins, I can quite easily jump into those and be pretty competitive straight away because they're already decked out. So it's it's a pro and con, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I hope that helps people out. Um, and ideally, you'll play G3 as much as you can. It just seems to be a, a little bit more consistent, just a little bit more consistent. But uh, please um, don't don't go G three if you if you really aren't capable because it puts a bit of burden on the other players and they might get frustrated. So if you, if you're not really able to, and you know if you're capable or not because if you're capable, you should be able to go just head to head with the enemy instead of sort of flying and hovering and hiding. You should just be able to go straight in and melee and and fight them and and be okay. Uh, if not, just drop down to like G2. G2 can be okay. Okay, I hope that helps people out.